Welcome everybody, my name is Michael, and today we're discussing about the 4056C or 4056T form. Some banks require this, where they ask the IRS, what is your income that was filed? And then if they cannot confirm there, they check your three most recent bank statements sometimes. And if they cannot confirm there, they deny you your credit card that you were approved for. Which sucks because now you have a hard inquiry and you never got the credit card. You never got that application. And it's going to say it's closed on the credit grantor's request or something like that. Well, you can close it by yourself without submitting the 45, uh, 40, 4506C, 4506T form. And it's tough because you don't know if you're going to get approved or not. So I'll give you a situation. My wife just recently made her very first bank account ever in America. We applied for two credit cards after that. One, Capital One, and the other, Discover. The two cards everyone recommends, the two cards I have. The two cards that are great for students, for foreigners, I looked into a lot of things. I never heard about this 4506 CT form until it happened. So Capital One never had that. Capital One gave us a lower limit, 300. It's the same limit I have. It's a lot of it's the starter limits, right? She doesn't have a credit score, and that's fine. That's why we were looking for something. It's nice to get something unsecured. So we were very happy. And they asked to verify, well, what's your social security number? She recently got that. We were able to verify that. It's literally, what is your social security number and what's your address? That's it, or, or something like that. Two easy questions, verified, um, submitting your, your uh, social security number and driver's license. There we go, perfect. Okay, had the, had the address, all good. You got it. We got the card. Works. Everything's fine. I also got a referral $50 or I'm sorry, $100 from Capital One. So that was nice. I did get $50 for the referral from Discover, which is nice. But what's not nice is we got approved for a, what was it? A $2,000 limit for $3,000. Maybe it was $3,000. I think it was $3,000. Yeah, $3,000 credit card limit, which I was like, oh my goodness, you know, I've got $500 credit card limit with Discover. That was after I went from unsecured to secure, uh, from yeah, from secured to unsecured. Uh, secured was like 200 to $300, and then it went to 500 Okay, that's nice, whatever. But uh, I've been there for a while. I have been trying every single month, and I just cannot get any higher limit. And I've been doing a lot of research. They have buckets, might be bucketed. Some might have to apply for another in the future, probably in a year from now when my credit's a little bit better. But regardless, we got approved. She actually got the card. It arrived, and we got a form 4506C, you have to verify your income. She put in a lower income. You know, she, she put in an income that is truthful. She, ha she has a job. And what happened is last year we filed married jointly. So she's using my income because she didn't work last year. And my income was, I think, 25, yeah, something like 25,000 plus dollars more than what she put on the application, which technically you can use your spouse's income, even not married jointly. And on a lot of applications, it's going to say, include your income. And you can include also other income that's available to you that's deposited in the bank account, whatever. And since she didn't have a bank account, she did deposit some money into my bank account. So it's, it's completely truthful. But we didn't even include that. She just included her normal, you know, and I, and now with her bank account, I will be able to help her out. Of course, I'm paying for rent and other things. So it's, it's mutual. With that, what's interesting is they took that tax form. We filled out the 45, 4506C and they want the th past three years of taxes. So they said they wouldn't accept it. And we went up to a supervisor and the supervisor said they would accept it. However, the offer expires April 8th and they won't accept it before most people file their taxes, which is in April and they said halfway through April, they will start accepting it. So technically we could get accepted, but they said, that's it. You uh, are not gonna get accepted because we are not accepting it. It's too early. What about your past three months of bank statements? Well, she will able to submit, she's gonna be able to submit one or two bank statements for sure, but not three because April 8th, if it was later halfway through April or whatever, if the limit was more, She'll get approved. And that's the worst part. She got approved for 3000 She got the card. She tried using it, was denied. We got this form. And we actually called back multiple times. Twice they told us, you're approved. Everything's fine. You submitted the form. We used your taxes. After, after that initial conversation, everything's fine. 
and then we called back another time after a decline purchase nothing you know they, they keep none of the supervisors know what they're talking about so you keep getting mixed signals from the supervisors from the customer service reps they're not familiar with this situation because it doesn't happen often so you have to go on fico forums and you discover we're kind of screwed so it's pretty crazy because some advisors we've called multiple times some advisors are saying we just need to verify the address well you won't accept a AT&T phone bill, which does count as a utility. You won't accept anything apart from bank statements. Well, what if we give you one bank statement? We can give you one bank statement. To no, we need three. Okay. But then are you trying to verify income? Because we do also have, well, we need three for taxes. Hmm. Okay. So we'll have at least one bank statement, possibly two, not three. If we waited a little bit longer, we would have three. And then we would get approved if it's just for that. And also for income verification, again, three bank statements, there will be income verification. Uh, right now, we're just not depositing checks into our account because there's a it's a brand new account. There's a 30-day hold policy with checks, you know, holding for six business days, whatever. So she's depositing checks into my account. And it sucks because we were super excited. $3,000, that would be huge. That would be awesome. It discovers like, well, just reapply again. Except that's another hard inquiry. And as a new credit profile, that hurts a lot because they won't fall off for the next two years. And Chase only accepts users with the five in less than 24 policy. So 24 months, less than five inquiries. And that's where we are heading. We're heading to Chase, even though we hate Chase. For debit purposes, for credit, supposedly they have very good credit and great, great uh, limits because they're a big bank. I like Capital One and Discover, which are small. Sorry, small potatoes, guys. Uh, you are dealing with hundreds of millions and billions, or I'm sorry, billions, but not hundreds of billions like Chase's. There we go. So it is a different ballpark, but right now they're great starter cards, or at least I thought Discover was. It used to be. You should have let us know that, hey, before you apply, I know you're pre-qualified. Listen, we're going to have to require this. And I know it says almost everywhere that we're a great card for, you know, new immigrants to the country. But if you just started your bank account, you just got your social security number, you just started working, you just got your driver's license because you're, oh, I don't know, new to the country, new to the whole immigration process. You're here legally and it takes a while to get your documents and uh, it's going to be a while. Uh, well, you could have let us know because it, ironically, if we applied next month, we probably would have been okay with that three big statement. It's the stupidest rule because not everybody gets this and it, it's random. Supposedly get it if you don't have uh, Experian, any data that can verify. Well, of course, she's not going to have any ex data on Experian because she's new. She's new to the country. She doesn't have bank accounts. She didn't have a job before. She had nothing. So it's just very frustrating because we would really like to use that credit card. We got our hopes excited and whatever, you know, it's credit. So it's not like free money, but it, it is something that a hard inquiry does have some value to it, especially when you try to rebuild. We got our hopes up. Uh, why would you send it out again? If, if you're just going to cancel it, it looks bad. We're trying to build credit, not destroy her credit. So thanks discover you suck. Uh, you should have let us know, and now we are looking at the banks that do this quite often, and we are not going to work with them. And discover if you do this, we don't want to work with you. We want to work with other banks. So I know because I have bad credit. I also want to say discover sucks because I've tried so many times to get a credit increase. Just increase it by like a hundred, two hundred dollars. Come on, I have cards with higher limits, even though those are bad banks those are bad uh you know much poorer banks uh, they accept uh, bad credit well mission laid i know it's it's not a great card but i have a thousand dollars and guess what after seven months that's supposed to double to two thousand which we're approaching the seven month mark capital one still at 300 <laughs> still at 300 come on you know i have a capital one auto loan with you guys been paying it perfectly everything's fine Nope, still at 300 So at least Capital One was fine with, with my wife. So thank you for that. Uh, after the six-month policy uh, with her card, hopefully that limit goes up. 
hopefully she gets approved for some other cars that don't require it and hopefully by the time they require it she'll have all the proof she'll need so just wanted to warn you guys out there if you're new to the country if you can't prove your credit profile income residency whatever forget about discover it used to be a great card not any longer because best part is some people have had their discover account for 10 years, you know, have like $20,000 limits and they get this regardless. And supposedly Discover wants to do this to everyone where some people would be able to pass it, but they just feel disrespected and they're going to close their accounts. So sorry, Discover, start treating yourself like a luxury business. I know you're supposed to be for the average person, but American Express, yes, American Express will also do that. Uh, but rarer than Discover, Amex is one of those big, unfortunately, except Amex does that because you know they offer hundred thousand plus dollar limits this is coming from someone who used to have a twenty thousand dollar limit back but i had a pretty thin credit profile with them that's also why i <clears throat> need to you know figure that out multiple years later i still don't have a collection from them but uh, i need to figure that out with abex because uh, whoops still have sixty five hundred dollars that i owe them but hey Hey, that was, you know, back during the crypto days when I lost a lot of money and made some bad decisions. Now we are making good decisions. So we're going to inform our wife what not to do, what to do, and hopefully she can get better cards than Discover. So sorry, Discover. Anyone reading this regarding 4506, CT, whatever, because the CT, I don't know, it's the same form or similar forms or transfers. I don't know, something like that. But if you're struggling, write down in the comments, let me know. But on to better things, because regardless what's going to happen, it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. My wife will have perfect credit soon. There's going to be a thick credit profile, but she'll build it. That's fine. I will teach her what to do, and because I've been looking a ton on FICO forums, how to rebuild credit. I have I used to have good credit, so I know what to do. I just did some other mistakes outside of credit that impacted my credit. So anyways, have a good one. It's supposed to snow down in Chicago. Actually, it is snowing, but it is not snowing over here. And the sun is setting. Have a good one. Take care. Thanks for watching.